Hello coders, I welcome you all. In this video, I am going to show you how you can participate in the Kaggle competitions and how you can submit your solution on Kaggle. As you can see here, the current competition is binary classification with a bank churn data set. You can read this overview. As you can see here, goal. Your task is to predict whether a customer continues with their account or closes it. Means churns. Also go through table of contents like overview, evaluation, timeline, about the tabular playground series, prices and citation. And you notice that there are still 10 days remaining in this competition. So you can also participate. Now let's click on this data. And as you can see here, three files are provided. Train.csv, Test.csv and Sample underscore submission.csv. And we have to submit the solution in the same format as the Sample underscore submission.csv. And you can observe that we have to submit a two column CSV file containing the ID and exited columns where the exited column contains the probability of churn that you can see over here. So let's get started. I have already downloaded these data sets train.csv and test.csv. So let's jump to Jupyter Notebook. Now let's start with our first step importing libraries. As you can see here, this code imports necessary libraries for data manipulation, pre-processing, and machine learning including pandas, scikit-learn, random forest classifier, xgb classifier and statistical functions from scipy.states. Now let's move on to our next step loading and pre-processing data. As you can see here our data set contains these many columns and this is our target variable exited. So this code reads a csv file train.csv into a pandas data frame and here we are removing two columns customer id and surname which are not necessary for predicting this particular target variable and this code separates the features x train and the target variable y train for training a machine learning model now let's move on to our next step pre-processing steps and here i have separated numerical features and categorical features from our data set as you can see this code defines two separate pre-processing pipelines one for numerical features using standard scalar for scaling and another for categorical features using one hot encoder for one hot encoding and these pipelines are then combined into a column transformer named pre-processor which applies the specified transformations to the designated numerical and categorical features in a machine learning data set so one pipeline for numerical features another pipeline for categorical features that we have combined into one using column transformer named pre processor. Now let's move on to our fourth step. Hyperparameter tuning for random forest. This code setups a random search for hyperparameter tuning of a random forest classifier. It defines parameter distribution for the number of estimators, maximum depth and minimum samples split. It then creates a pipeline with a preprocessor using the column transformer that we have defined over here this one and random forest classifier and performs randomized search CV over the specified hyperparameter space this one using randomized search CV and the best performing model is extracted as based underscore RF underscore model after fitting training data X train and Y train. So this is our fourth step hyperparameter tuning for random forest. Now let's move on to our fifth step hyperparameter tuning for xg boost so this code set up a random search for hyperparameter tuning of xg boost classifier it defines a parameter distribution for the number of estimators maximum depth and learning rate and here we have created a pipeline with a pre processor this one our column transformer and xg boost classifier and performs a randomized search over the specified parameter space this one using randomized search CV the best performing model is extracted as based underscore XGB underscore model after fitting training data X train and Y train so this is our fifth step hyperparameter tuning for XG boost now let's move on to our next step evaluating models so this code evaluates the performance of the random forest classifier and XGBoost classifier models using 
cross validation it iterates through list of models that you can see over here performs five fold cross validation and prints mean accuracy along with the standard deviation for each model here we have used random forest and xg boost you can try with different models to improve this accuracy also you can try grid search cv in place of randomized search cv it may improve the performance of machine learning models as you can see here as per this output of accuracy and standard deviation we can say that xgboost is the best algorithm for this particular data set so as you can see here we are storing best model xgboost into this particular variable best underscore model so this line access the classifier part of the pipeline and we are storing into this best underscore model again here we have created pipeline with preprocessor and best model xgboost classifier here we have trained our best model on x train and y train on our data set so here i have saved this model using joblib so again and again training is not required we can perform prediction using this saved model as you can see here with this name so just we have completed our task on training data set this one now let's perform prediction using our saved model on this particular data set test.csv as i said i have already downloaded this data set test.csv so as you can see here once again i have imported pandas spd and joblib so these coordinates test data from a csv file test.csv again i have dropped three columns customer id surname and id from the test data set again here i have extracted id from the test data set because we have to submit in this particular format id and exited after dropping this many columns i am storing our data set into x underscore test and here we are loading our pre-trained model which is trained on our training data train dot csv and i have created instance with name loaded underscore model and as you can see here loaded underscore model dot predict underscore proba on x test as you know we have to submit probabilities of prediction that you can see over here so that's why in place of predict here we are using predict underscore proba on x test and here i am creating one data frame with id and exited column which contains test probabilities that you can see over here and i am creating this data frame with name test underscore result underscore df and finally we are saving the result to a csv file named sample underscore submission dot csv without index and we have to submit this file on kegel let me show you this how we can submit so let me execute this code so this file has been saved on our local drive so once you join this competition you will see this button submit prediction let's click on this so here we have to submit this file that just we have saved sample underscore submission dot csv like this and let's click on this button submit as you can see over here we have successfully submitted our file on kegel that you can see over here also you can check this leader board let's click on this as you can see over here so please try to participate in this competition try to improve this accuracy and submit your predictions as i said still 10 days are remaining best of luck hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe this channel if you like this video smash that like button thank you very much for watching this video take care bye bye see you in the next video